Right, here's a little video I found back on one of my old phones of uh, us going up a mountain one morning on two old uh, cable skidders we had back before we'd done some of this recent equipment updating. I'm holding the phone in my hand on the old 88 model Franklin 170. Uh, 170's changed a lot over the years. They were small <clears throat> back then relative to now. But they had six BTA Cummins in them. They were 180 horsepower, and, and we ended up putting a John Deere winch on this one. And in its day, you know, 30 years ago, it was bad to the bone. I remember a guy that logged 518 cats coming on our job and seeing the trips that thing was pulling out from under the mountain. He said, I don't see how in the world a machine can stand that. <laughs> But, uh, and the one I'm following is a 97 model 170 Franklin <clears throat> when they were lime green. Um, we bought both these skidders new. Well, one of them was bought and I was just in elementary school. I was in 8th grade when the 88 was bought. But uh, I was grown and logging and uh, when the green 170 was bought brand new. I was the one that got to break it in because that was before I started cutting timber. I, I I just logged skitter three or four years before Dad would really let me cut timber. So it was about, you know, 2000, 2000 time I really started just strictly cutting timber all the time. But, uh, man, back in them days you talk about Cadillac, that thing had heat in it and the electronic winch controls and it weighed about 10,000 pounds probably more than the 88 model I had been running for several years and I was shitting in high cotton so to speak there for a while but them things are about ready for the junkyard now that 88 is in the junkyard <laughs> uh, and that green one it's on its last leg and we ended up getting one more Franklin after that a Q80 before we went to buying John Deere's, but anyhow, there's a little bit of old iron. Ain't really doing much with it, just riding around, but it's a pretty short video. Hope you enjoy it.